Professor Derek and the wonderful world of biology. Kate Test is. Kate Test is. Kate Test is. What the? What are you doing here? Oh, I'm embarrassed. I'm incredibly embarrassed. I did not know anybody was watching me while I did this. I am incredibly embarrassed. Well, now that we're at Professor Derek in the wonderful world of biology, we might as well start with the male and female reproductive systems. Is that okay with you? Yes? Okay. Let's go. Right here, we have the male reproductive system. All right? Yes, you got it. All right. The male reproductive system is it dependent on hormones, chemical hormones. Hormones are chemicals that regulate the activity of cells and organs. The primary hormones in the, uh, in the male reproductive system are FSH and LH. And testosterone as well. I forgot about that for a quick second there. But I remember because I am a genius. Professor Derek. Alright? And, the, and uh, the FSH and LH are produced in the pituitary gland, which are in the back of the brain. Alright? FSH is required for the sperm production. Alright? It helps produce sperm. The LH, uh, L, LH stimulates the production of testosterone, which is also required for sperm production. Okay? You got that now? That's good. That's good that you got that now. Alright, now let's start with telling you what these things are. You're probably wondering, what are those things? Well, now I'm going to tell you. You understand? Alright. First, we have the penis. Which is the male sex organ, which is used for sexual intercourse. Alright? And then we have the scrotum, in black here, which holds the testes, which are in gray, which make testosterone and produce sperm. Then we have the epidemis, in blue, right here. It transports the sperm. Alright? Also, we have the urethra which is a, a large tube that comes from the bladder out of the penis okay and then we have the seven vesicles labeled here in pink okay they are sac like pouches that attach to the vas deferens which is right here in purple attached to the vas deferens near the bladder and they give the sperm energy more energy is good. You understand me? It's great. It's perfect. Also, we have the prostate gland, which is labeled. What the? Oh, labeled in yellow. I can't see it. It's a bright yellow. A very bright yellow. It's right here, below the bladder. Okay? And that produces additional fluid to help ejaculation. Okay? Well, that is a male reproductive system. Okay? Now, we shall go to the female reproductive system. We are now going to the female reproductive system. We are having troubles. Hold on a second. Okay, dokey. We are okay now. I think we got the good. All right, we got the good. We got the good. We got good. Yeah. All right. Here we go. All right. You know. Let's see. The female reproductive system starts in the ovaries, which is here in the purple. Ovulation and menstruation, which are systemic functions, which means that it goes and it comes around all the time, all the time. And ovulation which is the production and release of mature eggs. The eggs are what are produced in the ovary here. Okay? All right. And ovulation is regulated by estrogen and progesterone, or gesterone, progesterone, which is secreted by the ovaries, which is these right here, the ovaries. Ovary, because I don't have two of them, so it's an ovary that's single. You gotta learn that stuff. And then, Estrogen controls, which is the other hormone, controls the body hair, which comes down here and everywhere else, uh, the breast development, 
because uh, you need those. And uh, it also controls ovulation and menstruation. That it helps it, uh, estrogen. Progesterone prepares the uterus for pregnancy and it also gives the breasts milk so the babies can feed off them. Also, the two coordinate to control the menstrual cycle. They work together as a team. Teamwork. Two heads are better than one. That's what I always say. Me, Professor Derek. Also, I'm going to tell you about the fallopian tubes right here. They're connected to the uterus in blue, right here. Uterus. Uh, red. Otherwise, there was oviducts that have that here. But also the fallopian tube, which attacks to the ovary. And it goes down into the uterus, and the, the egg comes down here and waits. It waits for sperm to come from the penis to uh, fertilize it. Okay? Alright. Uh, each uh, When you don't get fertilization, each month, uh, the endometrium, which is in here, is a soft tissue, a very soft tissue, which helps to, when, uh, when you do get pregnant, it, gets, it, it stays nourished. But when you are not pregnant, it, the endometrium, it sheds. And it, that's, what your, that's what menstruation is. That, when you are, uh, uh, let's see, uh, 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 oh, menstruation discharge. That is what your period is. And that's when it is shedded. It comes out. Alright? You don't want that stuff to in there all dead and stuff. No. Alright. Also, the cervix. Cervix is right here in red, next to the uterus in blue. It's a canal for sperm and the, menstru uh, the menstrual discharge. It helps it come out the vagina or it can get into your pud or whatever, all right? All right. And the vagina right here is the last part that I have to tell you is uh, where the penis can come in right here, all right? Oh, I also forgot some more stuff. I'm stupid. I'm sorry. All right, we got the rectum. Contains fecal matter, aka poop. And then we have here, we have the urethra, okay, which is attached to the urinary bladder, which controls the urine, pee, and all that stuff. Alright? You need a clean system. But that is the male. Male, I said. This is the male and the female. And the female. And a female reproductive system. I'm sorry, folks, my camera ran a retard. All right? Okie dokie. All right. So this has been Professor Derek and the wonderful world of biology. And I hope you guys have learned some very important stuff today. But I'm going to get back to my dancing. Josh, you folks. So hard.